In this video, we will look at how to grant a Jonas user access to Jonas Activity Management. We will also look at how to create user groups in Jam and how to assign a user group to a Jam user. First, we'll start in Jonas by granting a user access to Jam. To do so, navigate to Administration, User Management, and User Administration. If needed, go ahead and add another user. For more information on how to create a user in Jonas, watch the video titled Creating a New User ID. Otherwise, go ahead and select the user you'd like to provide Jam access to. Select User Options and ensure Allow Access to Activity Management is flagged. Then click OK to save. In order for the user to appear in Jam, we will need to run a sync in Jam by navigating to System Administration and selecting Integration. Click the Advanced Options button and ensure Users is checked. Click OK and then click the gear icon to run the sync. Once the sync is complete, click the green check mark to save the changes. You can now view the user in the User section of System Administration. If you do not see the user right away, click the Refresh button. Before we take a look at the settings here, let's take a look at the User Groups submodule. User Groups allow you to define menu access, permissions, and restrictions for a large number of users. This makes managing users much easier since they inherit all of the settings from their user group. A few examples of user groups that may come in handy include full access super users, view only access, or specific module access such as health and spa service providers. To create a new group, click the new button and enter a description for your group. To modify menu access, click the Menu Security Setup button. Note that you can only grant menu access for modules that you yourself have access to. In the Menu Security Profile, you can click the Expand All button to expand all security levels, or use the Collapse All button to collapse all the levels. You can expand a single level by clicking the plus sign to the left of the level. The preview pane on the right allows you to click through the modules to preview the options that are available. If you do not see the preview pane on your screen, click the preview button to open it. To change permissions, select the security level you'd like to apply the permission to. For example, the module group security level. Then select full access, view only, or no access. You can also double click a row to change the access level. To select multiple levels, hold down the control key on your keyboard as you select those levels. Then click your access button. If the security level you select has sublevels, the changes will be made to all of its sublevels. If you've made an adjustment to a sub module or menu item, a second check mark will be added to the module group level. Once you have made the permission adjustments, click Close. You can utilize the Copy and Paste buttons to copy menu access from one user group and paste it to another. Use the Users tab to assign this user group to specific users. Utilize the Restrictions tab to apply restrictions to specific companies, vendor groups, and staff scheduling. The miscellaneous tab allows for additional restrictions to be put in place. Note that some options are can do and some are cannot do. The booking module section allows for permissions and restrictions to be set per booking module that your club has. Each booking module has its own specific set of permissions and restrictions that can be applied accordingly. After you've configured the permissions and restrictions for this user group, click save. If you did assign users to this user group, a prompt will confirm if you want to proceed. Now let's circle back to users. After selecting a user, in the general section, core information tab, you can change the user group assigned to this user. Any information in the user section must be updated in Jonas 
and an integration sync run within Jam to update the information. If needed, you can choose to override the group menu settings and make adjustments to the specific user. If this user has a staff account in Jam, you can link the staff account by enabling this user has a staff profile and selecting the staff member. If you link this user to a staff member, the staff info tab will become available where you can make adjustments to the staff information and settings. Utilize the restrictions and booking module sections to override specific user group permissions and restrictions specifically for this user. If you have made any changes, don't forget to click that save button. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.